Senator David Perdue, what, in your mind, when you hear these critics basically talk about abolishing ICE, I mean, what message do you want to send to them? I just don't know how to respond to that. I mean, this is the United States of America. That's like saying I want to get rid of the Marines. I mean, I just don't, I can't relate to that. That somebody in an elected position would actually voice that as a, an intellectual position. I mean, I just don't understand, if anybody's read the Constitution, it's very plain about what our responsibility is. That's provide for national defense, and that means security at the border. And I'd like to go back to, to what the sheriff just said and what, uh, what we've seen happen in Alabama. I mean, I, I think the cases that this attorney general's brought are fantastic in terms of standing up for the Constitution. But, you know, I met Kate Steinle's father a couple years ago. And when you see a senseless murder like that, that could have been prevented. And any, any one of you in uniform can give us dozens of examples like that. When are we going to talk about the victims of this senseless crime and the victims of this drug um, commerce that's being perpetrated on the United States? I mean, this is when somebody, I think, fails their oath of office when they say they want to get rid of ICE or the CBP. I mean, I just think it's unconscionable. And frankly, I think it's downright unpatriotic and treasonous. Uh, Attorney General, I'd like to ask you the same question. In terms of these critics who are calling out their abolish ICE, what are your thoughts on that? Can I just say amen to what the, the Senator just said? <clears throat> no, I think it, it speaks volumes to somebody's perception of what it is that these fine men and women do. You know, we've talked a little bit about the front end side of the law enforcement where many tons have been stopped at the border. But what you also don't see is what happens on the back end is that in, in, I've been a prosecutor for 20 years, and at one point in time I did some statistics for us. I was in an area in Alabama known as Meth Mountain. By the way, not a great moniker that you want, but yet over 70% of our drug traffickers were in this country illegally, 70%, which meant that when they were arrested, local law enforcement had the opportunity to contact ICE for a detainer to make sure that those individuals were going to stay until we had the opportunity for them to be sent to trial. The other thing that it gave us the opportunity to do is to work with additional federal partners to see whether or not those individuals could be prosecuted federally rather than the state level. One of the things that you hear from federal prosecutors, they typically don't have the opportunity to issue a complaint, that their process takes a little bit longer, and by the use of ICE's authority for a detainer through the work of local law enforcement, many times we were able to capture those bad apples that were the worst of the worst for us to make sure that not only do we have the chance to fully prosecute them, but also prosecute them in the venue in which we were going to make the most difference. And so those that would criticize ICE, those that would believe that we want to be able to abolish one of the most effective law enforcement mechanisms that I know out there clearly don't understand what you do and don't have an appreciation, as the sheriff talked about, the danger that you've placed yourself in so that I and others could be safe and we're grateful for that.